is. Welcome to another session of our XCOM 2 War of the Chosen playthrough. We're going to jump right in and we're going to start that three man guerrilla ops mission and see if we can manage to do it or not. And I just jump right in because not sure how long I'm going to be able to stream today. It could be an hour. If you're lucky, it could be two hours. Um, because, like, lately, the my, my work schedule for during the week, um, the Tuesdays and Thursdays, <coughs> has, uh, has kind of changed a little bit, and I'm able to go in a whole heck of a lot earlier uh, than I do the other days. So, um, I, I don't... I'm going to try and fit streaming on those days. I'm going to have to see how I'm going to be able to do it. I know I'm going to have to start, try and start earlier on those days if I can. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll try my best to, to do something on those days. And then, I, I don't know. I I think what I'm probably going to have to start doing is, like, t to make up for the, the lost time on those days, I might have to start streaming, like, on a Sunday. Um and get some some hours in or something I don't know but anyways we'll try and go for a little bit here and then hopefully tomorrow we can come back do a lot longer so but that's kind of what my schedule is looking like right now all right so I think we're pretty much ready to do that mission um <laughs> I apologize, I'm probably going to be coughing a lot during this. It's It's been acting up today. Just this dry, annoying cough. It's it's so annoying. Um, we got all that stuff being built. So, yesterday when we wrapped up the session, we got a Gorilla Ops mission. And we had like three different options. Some of the, some of the rewards I kind of based it off of, but also... What kind of dark events uh, that that particular mission counters? The one that we're gonna do is probably one of the tougher missions. Um, we can only do the mission with three soldiers instead of six. Uh, there's a chance that the assassin chosen could show up, but the reward is 200 supplies or something. We need supplies because we got all this. New stuff that we need to build, like weapon-wise, and um, more things that we need to build uh, in the base. And then um, I think it counters the all Advent officers and priests have return fire, so that's pretty good. The other the other two dark events aren't that great. <coughs> I don't think so. Uh, but anyways, let me double check. So. If we're only able to take three people on this mission, <coughs> I uh, would have been nice to take Hipster Dog, but we decided to get rid of those negative traits uh, at the time that we got this mission, so that kind of sucks. So we're going to have to take our major ranking skirmisher. It's not Brox, because uh, he's captured, I think. Um, and then we're going to take our best specialist, Velestra. <coughs> and then uh, I think we're going to take um, James Vega for um, armor purposes. Because I think he can shred armor. Yeah, so um, let's go ahead and go to the training center here. And see if any of these soldiers have um, some new abilities that we can potentially put on them so that way maybe they do a little bit better. <coughs> uh, I think we we um, picked some skills the last time for this guy so we don't need to do that. Uh, or at least for her I think. I think it's a female, I don't remember. Uh, they... Lester has six. Blast padding. Uh, your gear includes extra layers of padding and blast plates, granting a bonus point of armor. Uh, that might be kind of good to get. 
Although it takes away from the, the XCOM pool, but, you know, it might be kind of good. Bucker Down now confers plus 20 aim on the first shot following the turn. That's cool. Scanning protocol, covering fire. I would think about maybe taking Haywire protocol, but also this seems really good. I don't know if we'll be running into mechs or not, but it might be a kind of a good idea to take that instead of that. Uh, but I will definitely get blast plating or blast padding uh, on this particular soldier. But let's go with haywire protocol. So it's going to take six soldier AP and then five from the XCOM pool for everyone. Go ahead and do that. We got to try to get more ability points. Like we got to start like. Taking shots from flanking, uh, height advantages, stuff like that. Alright, let's take a look at James Vega here. James Vega doesn't really have too much. Uh, that might be kind of good. Demolition, deep cover. If you did not attack this turn, hunker down automatically. Kind of cool. I, I really like, like the... Uh, the random XCOM abilities that you can get from the other classes, I really like that. Um, and it just makes me want to like get some of our soldiers that are a lot lower in the ranks, get them up, so that way we can see what kind of cool stuff they get. Because there's a chance that you could get something really good, um, like your first, like the first random XCOM ability um, from like another class. So. You never know what you're going to get, but it's pretty cool. So there really isn't anything else I want to get on him. I might want to get that, but is it really worth it? I guess so. I guess I better take this, just in case. <laughs> so we got 31 in the XCOM pool. That's fine. But we need, we kind of need all the help we can get. Um, alrighty. So let's go ahead and jump on to that mission. Go ahead and up there. <laughs> now hopefully we succeed and we don't fail. It's really annoying that I was scanning and one day away and I get a guerrilla ops mission. It's so annoying. I better not lose this. Alright. So this is what we were looking at right here. Um, so you get an engineer if you do this one. Uh, and this counters the cost of recruits are going to go up by 100% if we don't do this. We bought a bunch of recruits the last session. I think we're okay. We bought at least like four, five or something like that. So I think we're probably okay for a month. Um, but you never know. Um, we, we are going to do this one. Also, this one has a really cool uh, rep thing here. I don't know if it's site rep or sit rep. I'm going to say site rep just because it makes more sense. Um, so there's that. Um, and then this one, you get some intel. We're low on intel, but we also have a thing we can research to get intel, like one of those decryption, uh, pads or something. So, I don't really worry about that. And then this dark event, it's not really that great. If a chosen get, gets information, it gets passed along to the warlock. I don't care about that. I don't really think that's going to affect us too much. This one right here, this shots on Advent officers and priests trigger return fire. Seems kind of like it's going to be annoying, so we're going to have to um, get rid of that. And this one we have to hack a computer, so it's a good thing that we're bringing a specialist along. Bad thing is that the squad size is three soldiers, and the chance for the assassin chosen to show up is also a little terrifying. So we'll see if we can do this. Uh, we really need to succeed on this mission. It's really going to have to happen. But apparently, there, there's this thing too. Advent forces have reduced their presence in this area. So it seems like there might not be a lot of enemies here. Or at least Advent soldiers. I don't know. But anyways, we're going to do that one. Setting course for Mexico. <laughs> for Mexico? We're gonna help Mexico. If we're going to keep this one quiet, Commander, we'll have to limit the squad size to three of our best units. Let's hope they can get the job done without additional support. Man, Commander I really Tiger hate this. Aren't going to be happy if we don't put the Skulljack to good use. 
Yeah, I know. I, I need to try to do the skull jack. Alright, we're taking James Vega. <laughs> I think we're gonna have James... Medkit. No. Wait, is there any way that I can make armor available? Because I know Hipster has the... Hipster has that one armor on. Exosuit, yeah. We're gonna have James use this. Da, 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 da. So he can't put anything there. Pretal Mox, or not Pretal Mox. Fatal. Uh, let's see. Plate Skirmisher. Bullpup. Does five to six damage, that's kind of kind of low. Ionic Ripjack. Seems pretty good. Um Kinda wanna put like a scanner on somebody. <laughs> Until the item's available. Uh as much as I like the the plas well maybe we should try and skull jack. Ugh, I don't know, man. Do I really want to try and skulljack somebody? Like, I don't know, man. I'll put it on just in case, but... Mm. No, I'm not gonna chance it, dude. As much as I really want to do that, we'll have to try to do that maybe next mission. But we probably need to... Uh, not use that. And somebody's gonna have to have a flashbang, so I guess you'll have a flashbang. Hopefully you don't get mind control or something. <clears throat> okay, what do you have on your weapon? Stock. Miss shots deal one damage. Uh, then increase clip size. And you got that, all that stuff. Okay. Can you... Nothing good to put on you. Is there anything that I could build? Probably not. <laughs> uh, auto pistol, fusion rip jack. I could do that, but I don't think I want to do it. Because we're pretty low on supplies right now. Um, yeah. Okay. I really wish I could have built this, but I don't have enough Illyrium. Okay. So... I think we're ready. What's up, Remingtons? What's up, dude? Alright. So, I think we're pretty... I think we're ready. I just really hope we can make it out alive with three soldiers. I hope we can uh, complete this mission. And I really hope the Assassin Chosen doesn't show up, because if she does, man, oh man, is it going to be annoying. So, alright. We will try and do it. Sky Ranger deployed. Squad green to deploy. Thursday chill day, aka Gwen all day day. <laughs> I saw that they uh, <laughs> they have a uh, like a event thing going on until Monday or something or the weekend or whatever, where you get like uh, the last card in a keg is always premium or something, whatever that means. Maybe I jump back into that. Um, See what kind of premium cards you get with the kegs, but um, I also I think the rank stuff reset too. But I kind of want to see if I got any rewards for that. How am I feeling better? I feel pretty good. It's just the the cough is still there, and it's been acting up today. So <laughs> I don't know. It's just gonna have to go away on its own. I think. But we'll see. 
got a tip from a resistance hacker operating out of this area. Apparently he Oh my god, that looks awesome. Work nearby right before alien reinforcements hit. <laughs> it sounds like he may have had a lead on data critical to the latest alien operation, but we'll have to move quickly if we're going to recover it. Secure the area and hack in before Advent shuts down the connection. We need to seize control of that data if we're going to have any chance of stopping their progress. Dude, I I don't know, just something about the way that, that house looks, building looks, looks awesome. I've never seen that before. All right, so we've got only three soldiers on this mission because that's one of the requirements for this guerrilla ops. We've got to hack a computer, we've got to neutralize everything, and then hack that computer or whatever. I really hope the assassin shows it doesn't show up. Oh my god. Oh, why was that really shaky? Go! <laughs> oh man, this Avenger map looks five. awesome. Avenger. The access point we're after <laughs> is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. If we're going to keep this one quiet, Commander, we'll have to limit the squad size to three of our best units. Let's hope they can get the job done without additional support. <clears throat> this map looks awesome. It's raining. It's in, like, this little neighborhood. Is this, uh... God, what is the, what is the freaking neighborhood? I don't even remember what the name is. The Sanctuary Hills? Is that what I'm thinking of? This looks a little bit like Sanctuary Hills. I don't know if that's the neighborhood in Fallout 4, but I I, I want to say that's the name. Remington's will confirm. Uh, moving card. Uh, one you craft with powder. <laughs> <clears throat> Open 34 kegs today. No gold. 34 kegs today? You opened 34? Did you just, like, forge your ore and just buy all the, the cakes today? Oh my god. Sanctuary Hills, okay. Alright. It's been a while. Alright, I just noticed we took Velestri, who has a fear of the Chosen. So, uh, if the Chosen shows up, she may or may not panic. I don't know. But we got, uh, our... Sort of our best, uh... Our best soldiers with us, uh, and we are concealed, so we'll just try and go around this way. This is a, this is a whole lot of area there. That must mean this is the edge of the map. Uh, all right. So I guess uh, this is over here. I kind of want to just wrap around this way. Um, so I guess we'll go ahead and start moving people this way over here. We will send... That was a weird sound effect. That's like some creepy music. Can you hear that? It's like, do, 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 do. That, that's some scary music, man. I go as ordered. What the heck am I going to encounter here? <laughs> what is this? Combat present. Grant an extra action to the squad mate. Oh. Shoot, son. That's good. Season ended. Oh, is that why they, they give you a bunch of, uh... Bunch of cakes when the season ends? Uh... Movie right there. Seriously, though, that was some creepy music. Uh, let's go ahead and move James right here. Then maybe dash him, dash him up right here. Really don't need to worry about cover right now, because I don't think we're going to see anything. Oh, God. Are we really going to break concealment right now? Okay, so they're down there. Uh... Why did those leaves fall? <laughs> that was really weird. That was really, really weird. 
Okay, we'll move James up a little bit here. I hear a mech. Ooh, a mech I can hack. There's a, it's a, there's a mech around that I can hack. They're all down there. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and move you up here. I will move. I think we're gonna throw a battle scanner down there just to see. So it looked like there was an officer, a stun lancer. It sounded like there's a mech moving about down there. <laughs> Where the heck are we supposed to go? Is this the house? This is the house. Sorry, we were unable to connect to chat. Oh my god. Okay, well I'm gonna throw this. I, luckily I have two chats open. Actually I have three chats open. Uh, but the other one I can't see. I wonder if I should just like start using the bot chat instead of using the actual chat on Twitch because of the... <laughs> Sometimes it's like, sorry we're unable to connect to chat. I can see that you type something. Uh, after you type season ended, but I have to uh, make that window bigger so I can see it. So I'll see it after I throw this. I want to see what's over here. <laughs> oh my god. It's not a mech, ladies and gentlemen. We've got two sectoids, an Andromedon, uh, and then we have an officer and a lancer down there. We got a total of five enemies at least, and then the Assassin Chosen could show up as soon as we reveal ourselves, so that's not good. <laughs> so we're gonna move up a little bit more here, and hopefully, uh, nothing bad happens. Okay, they're gonna come up. Are they gonna reveal us? Probably, they're probably gonna reveal somebody. James is revealed. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. One square. They would have seen us. Okay. <laughs> I really hate this. I really do. Alright, let me see. Uh, what did you say? After season ended, I got like 18 from playing ranked. Um, holy crap. Well, what was your rank? Or how high did you get? I think my highest rank was 7, I think. I don't know how much I get from that, but... Uh, I was going ham on ranked. Apparently I opened, like, the most busted gold in the game. Climb the ladder pretty high. <coughs> What's the most busted gold? What, what card is that? Uh, Twitch had so many issues this week, it's ridiculous. Yeah. You got to rank 16? Holy crap! You did go ham. Yeah, I only got... I only managed to get to 7. Is it is it a thing, like... Since you played more rank than I did, you'll probably know the answer to this. Like, is there any downside to playing ranked like there, like it is in Hearthstone? Like, where if you don't win a match, uh, you start losing rank? Or can you just only go up? Because if you can only go up, then I will, I will go ham in ranked. Um, but I don't know, like, the, all the times that I had played rank, I always got points. Um, even if I lost, I think. I don't know. <coughs> uh, Ithlin, it's a Scoyotail card. Oh yeah, Ithlin's Prophecy. That's uh, I forgot what that card does. I've seen it used against me before. But I don't remember what it does. <coughs> uh, all right. Well, I guess we're gonna try our best to take down these guys. Uh, right here, we're gonna set up for an ambush. Uh, and then we'll see what we can do. I don't know if that's going to trigger the Andromedons. I'm hoping it doesn't. Um, but this may or may not... <coughs> that's the wrong... I didn't want to move you there, but alright, whatever. Uh, this may or may not trigger the... Um, what do you call it? The uh, Assassin Chosen, I don't know. Elite Trooper and Elite Officer, okay. And it's really going to be hard to Skulljack one of those guys now. Not doing it now. Uh, well, Mr. Vega, this kind of sucks. I kind of want to spread people out here a little bit. Um, <coughs> uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna move you over here. Heading to that location. 
We're gonna move you over here. All right. And then we're gonna move you up right here. I don't know who's gonna take the shot here. 75% chance, 77, 68, okay. Um, well, I think you're gonna take the shot. So we're gonna go ahead and... Eyes on the prize. We're gonna set up for an ambush here. No trespassers. Ambush, okay, I really, I really hope there's not a, a chosen on this level. I do not want one, please. Uh, we're gonna try and go for the elite officer, I think. Because that whole marked ability is kind of annoying. I think that probably, uh, makes the aim against whatever soldier he marks, uh, pretty, goes up a little bit, I think. I don't know. We're gonna try and do that. <coughs> Fury Bringer, what's up, man? Good to see ya. Reject, or re reject. Rejoice, mortals. Your overlord has arrived. Um, after rank 10, you start losing a little, but not much. Okay. Uh, at rank 12, I get 40, 50 per win and lose 6 per 9. Uh, 6 to 9 per loss. Okay, that's not too bad. That's actually not too bad at all. I'll have to try and uh, play, uh, play more ranked uh, when I go back to that game or whatever. Um, cause I think I saw something where the seasons are now only, they only last a month instead of two. So, I always do that. We're talking Gwent, yep. We're talking Gwent. Remington's is a madman, he's played so much of it. I haven't played it in like a week, but I'm probably gonna go back to it. Alright, let's ambush this thing. <laughs> Alright, good shot. Let's see. Please, everybody take the shot on the same one. Yeah, nice. Officer down. See you later, buddy. You know that was good. All right, and then this guy. Hey. Untouchable. Nice. Oh, cause he got the kill. Right. Oh my god, that's amazing. I'm I'm confused as to why he was able to move after that and take a shot. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so so far they cannot see. Uh, these ones over here cannot see, so that's good. Um, uh, how am I? If I'm able to move you down here, you're able to see. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's move you down here, and then we'll try and take some shots on this. Jesus, that crit. Okay. I need ammunition. All right, give me all this. All right, James, let's try and get this kill, bud. If you don't get it, I mean, well, I don't know. Did I just move you down? I probably should just move you down. I'm just Whatever gonna do that. You say. Move you down. <laughs> better chance, way better chance. Perfect. All right, that was nice and clean. So it doesn't look like there's going to be uh, an assassin chosen on this map. So that's good. The bad thing is that uh, the um, what do you call it? The uh, <laughs> that that Andromedon and the two friggin' sectoids are still over there. So we'll get back up and we'll move people over there. Then we gotta try and hack that station. So let's go ahead and get our soldiers back up here. Hopefully this doesn't trigger them. If this triggers them, that's gonna be bad. It's gonna be real bad. Yep, okay. All right, we gotta deal with all this now because I decided to move up too much. Ah. <sighs> Well, at least they're all in cover. I'm really worried about getting mind controlled. Um, the Andromedon, I'm not really too worried about. He does hit hard, though. 
So what can I do? Whiplash. This does not cost an action. Okay. All right, I'm probably gonna have to grapple somewhere. <laughs> I think we wanna try and go for something like over here. I wanna try and move behind this tree here. Uh, might be nice to do combat presence though. I don't know. We'll see. I want to move over here. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get her behind cover there. <laughs> I think for rank seven you should have around six kegs uh, for season end. Ooh, I get to open some kegs then. Beer Ringer says, I really wish I got into that game more. Uh, uh, I tried it in the open beta, I think, but some real life stuff got in the way, so I dropped it with the intention of coming back. It's a fun game, I admit it. I just don't have enough time for it. Stupid real life interfering with my gaming, yeah. That, that happens. It sucks. Okay. Uh, Whiplash. I kind of want to do that. It's a free action. All right. Let's see if we can do this. Missed. Okay. Um. Wow, I really thought the shot was going to be better. Oh, you know what I could? Well, hmm. I could grant an extra action. But this ends your turn, though, right? Yeah, it ends your turn. Uh, all you can see is the Andromeda. Huh? Yeah, we kind of want to spread out because we don't want stupid uh, freaking Acid Man over here to deal some damage. Uh, okay, so I think we're going to probably back it up here. We're going to back it up. Uh, combat protocol. Wait, d do we have a protocol? I guess a target. Uh, oh, you don't have the one that has the Overwatch thing, I don't think. Okay. Well, I mean, we could take that shot. Or I could try and give James an action and just, like, blow up the cover that's there. And maybe that might be a little bit better to do. <laughs> I will bring you I'm really worried about James, man. He only has one action. And he can easily get flanked, but he's got, uh... He's got a lot of armor and stuff there. Untouchable shredder. So, rocket launcher. Might be kind of cool to just do that. Could hit all of that right there, but I kind of want to deal damage to this guy. Have a move. Plasma grenade. Yeah. Okay, we're going to try and do the rocket launcher. I think we're going to try and go right here. We're going to try and do that, I think. Because uh, this one's right in the front. Seems good. Coming your way! Alright, James. Don't get mind controlled. Don't get mind controlled and survive. You're probably gonna get flanked, I think. Uh, oh, we could aid protocol. I could do that. Ooh, com. Oh, oh. If only you could see him, we could have got rid of him this turn. If only if I didn't move you. God dang it! I shouldn't have moved. Should have moved first. Okay. Well, we'll give Jane some extra defense, and uh, we'll see if we. We live. <clears throat> Here you're probably already gone, but thanks for stopping by, man. Oh, she does. She do have that thing. Uh, the aid protocol. <laughs> Negative damage. That's good. Yeah, drop down. Please miss. Yeah. Whoa. That's what you get for going down below. All right, now he might try and mind control. Uh, 
Oh no, psionic zombie. Okay. All right, well, let's see what he does. Okay, he's gonna try and mind control. James is mind control. All right, that's fine. There's two ways we can get rid of